Hold on, I'll be with y'all in a second. In a fucking second. What's going on YouTube? Don't mind my hair right now, y'all. You know, all of us girls can relate. Okay, listen, listen. Like, it'll be done soon. How about that? Um, plus, I got my, I got time today. Um, Looney Tunes, your despicable hat on today. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about a little situation on this. Um, so as you all know, the Grammys came on. And I think y'all soon, and well, not very soon, but soon I was thinking about doing a podcast. I'm not saying the name right now because I don't want anybody to watch this video and steal my shit because people like to steal, you know what I'm saying? But um, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so, you know, this... Just bear with me, y'all. It's been a lot. I've been working like crazy, and I've been tired, but I got to get my motivation back. You know what I'm saying? I miss my raindrops. But anyway, so you, as y'all know, the Grammys came on last night. Queen Beyonce was there, of fucking course. And, uh, you know, some people were upset that she didn't win album of the year. But I feel like it's a positive that she is the most nominated, you know? And then she did win. She did win. She did win something last night, you know? So, I'm happy about that. But anyway, SZA was there looking fine. She looked beautiful, 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 beautiful in that black, okay? SOS me, please. But anyway, um, Christopher Maurice Brown. Let me just read y'all what this nigga says. So, um, excuse my language. Uh, it's like not even 10 o'clock in the fucking morning yet. So hold the fuck on. Um, so let's, all you have to do is literally Google Chris Brown's name, I'm sure. So yeah, it's already popped up. It says Chris Brown, Robert Glasper. So let's go ahead. Um, we're gonna read not from TLC, TMZ. We're gonna read from E! Online. What? No, let's go to Billboard, all right? So it says Chris Brown taunts. Robert Glasper after losing best R&B album Grammy. Who the fuck is this, right? I'm keeping y'all ass. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna keep kicking y'all ass. Respectfully, he continued on social media. Um, blah, 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 blah. So, um, anyway, he was pretty much tripping because he didn't win best R&B album of the year. Robert Glasper did. Now, I know who the fuck Robert Glasper is. Now, mind you, I necessarily didn't grow up on his music, but I have heard some things from Robert Glasper, and I was definitely interested when he made a song with Brandy called What Are We Doing? I'm like, Brandy is one of my favorite female artists, so um, I was definitely tuned in. It's on, it's on an album called Black Radio 2, right? It looks like this. Like if you go to Spotify, you'll see it. Um, but yeah, he's worked with artists like Brandy, Marsha Ambrosius, Anthony Hamilton, Faith Evans, Lupe Fiasco, Luke James, a man who actually does make fucking R&B music, Chris. Okay, um, Layla Hathaway, damn, yeah, he, he, he out there, you know, he ain't just some rinky-dink artist. Erica Badu, oh, yeah, this man, yeah, obviously people know who the fuck he is, um, let me see another one, like a more recent album or something. Hold on, you guys, oh my God. Hold on for a second, like, just to name some other artists. Oh, Solange, Questlove, um, who else? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I even think he worked with her as well. Yeah, because there was a song, it was called Better Than I Imagine. Or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why it's not showing on here, but what the fuck ever. Like, I don't fucking know. Like, oh my God, what the hell is going on? So, oh yeah. Oh, this was some years ago. That's why it's not new. Um, yeah, her. Literally, right here. But, um, so people clearly know who this man is. Chris Brown is just mad. And I hate to break it to y'all. And some of you crazed Chris Brown fans are not gonna like this, but that's okay. And what's the thing? I listened to some of Chris Brown's music. I was a huge fan back in the day when I was a kid. Like, I got his debut album for my birthday as a gift, right? But Chris Brown is not a full R&B artist. He's not. Like, for the past several years, I, I, I think especially after his Fame album, it a lot of his music to me and a lot of other folks has sound the same. Like, 
the same like up tempo type of beats, the hi hats, the 808s, um, the rapping, because he is a singer rapper. You know, he he's, he gives a little. He's like a um, a better version of Tory Lanez. That fool, that ball headed fool. But anyway, yeah, he's a singer rapper. Like that's what you do, you know. Um, and I feel like too people because of how people feel about Chris Brown. People, they always want to try to make some excuse for this, excuse me, grown ass man. Like every time he lashes out or says something or he gets accused of something, everybody already in the comments on the shade room, leave Chris Brown alone, leave that man alone. He didn't do nothing wrong. This man could literally be caught on fucking camera running somebody grandma over and y'all will still say, well, she shouldn't have been in the way. That's Chris Brown, leave him alone. That's our black king. Shut the fuck up. Okay, like it doesn't make any fucking sense, like for real. And for people who say shit like, oh, R&B is dead, no. R&B is not dead, it's underappreciated in my opinion. Because you have, the fact that this man here was nominated, right, and didn't win, I have, I feel a way about that. Because this artist, this man, ever since his debut song, I believe, debut single, I'm trying to find the damn album. Lucky fucking day. This album, Candy Drip, I was already hooked with the song he released before the album came out. It's The song is called Candy Drip. Like this album as a whole, like you don't, there's, of course you have, come on, focus. Of course, you know, when you like an artist, you have your favorite songs by them, especially when they have an album that comes out. You're gonna have your favorite songs to go to. But the whole album as a whole, it's like no skips. Like you will enjoy the whole thing. And he just released the deluxe. You see artists like Lucky Day, um, Ro James. Let me show y'all what he looked like. Like Ro James, he's another one. He ain't made an album in quite a few years, but um, you know, hopefully he'll come back out soon. This is him right here. Ro James, Ro James, there you are. There you are, Ro James, come back to the view. And there's an, another artist called Lou James. I feel like guys like them, um, they actually do make real R&B music, especially Lucky Day. Like just listen to all the musical ass instruments. In his songs, you hear guitars, you hear real bass. It's not all that up-tempo shit. There's this one song that's called N.W.A. with Lil Durk. That's more of a like um, modern R&B type of song, but that's not all he that's not all he puts out. He really does take the time and give out some funky soul. He made a song with Earth, Wind, and Fire, like one of their older songs, but he sang on it and made it like fresh and new. He even was featured on a song with Babyface. Do you see Babyface? Would you ever see Babyface um, collabing with a motherfucker like Tory Lanez? I think the fuck not. Hell, he ain't even he ain't even collab with Chris Brown, so that says a lot. You know, because Babyface was in a generation of real R&B music himself. Hello, like, what's that all? Like we had the Kims, we had the Joes, and you know, whether y'all like it or not, we had R. Kelly. Okay, we had R. Kelly up in this thing now. Um, who else? We had the Jodeces, we had the Tyrese's, we had the Genuines. And I guess you could say Tank, I guess. Um, Avant. <laughs> You know, the artists like them, they make real R&B music. Christopher Maurice Brown, like literally on his album, cause y'all, like I say, when it comes to Chris Brown, some of y'all are just so fucking delusional and nothing this man does is wrong. Uh, I'm just finna look it up. So here we go. So his last, his latest album, Breezy, right? Um, I'll tell y'all the songs that are R&B-esque. Call Me Every Day with Wizkid, that's a bop. And it is R&B, but it has the Jamaican, well not, well, African dirty wine type of feel to it. You know, bamba clot, what a guan, all that. You know, boop, 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 you know, shit like that. Um, What is another song I feel? Sleep at Night, that is an R&B-esque song. R&B-esque song, that is without a doubt. Now I to do whatever helps you sleep at night. You know, I don't want to like sing it in a clear version because we all know how sensitive YouTube is. But yeah, um, I might have to re-listen to this album, but those are the main two songs. Oh, Warm Embrace, I guess you can count that one too. 
Um, that is, those are like three songs that are R&B esque. The rest of those songs are the typical singer rapper songs. Look at this one, Catch a Body with Fabio Foreign. You know that ain't no fucking R&B song. You know that. Uh, Addicted with Lil Baby, not an R&B song. Uh, maybe you could count the one with her. It's called Closure. Um, Psychic. It's an up. Oh, oh, cut off. It's a um that song with Jack Harlow. It's catchy, but it's not R&B. Um. <laughs> so I mean, to be honest, Chris hasn't really had an R&B s album in a long time. Like he'll make songs, but has he has he really made an R&B album a full blown? R&B album, America. I haven't got a microphone. Don't worry, I'll wait. This like on his first album, Chris Brown, his debut album. I remember it like it was fucking yesterday. Like he had songs like, Your Man Ain't Me. He was singing like a mo he ain't he fly, he don't even drive. Come on, y'all. Y'all remember that shit? Um, ain't no way. That was my shit back in the day. Say goodbye. Everybody was saying, do you hear me crying? Uh-oh, uh oh, uh oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Never a right time. Come on, mm, 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 me. And I'm gonna feel the way I'm gonna feel my ear. You with me, I Sing it, y'all. Come on. Um, what else? What else was it? Poppin'. This is what I'm after. Who's the thing on You ain't gotta act like you're shy. Cause we gon' do. Uh, uh, gon' get. And we gon' get. And have a lot of. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Um, one more, one more, one more. Let's go to the exclusive album. Y'all remember that shit? Um, forever, ever, ever, and ever, 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 forever, ever, ever, forever, forever. Come on, uh, I'm gonna say it again. Forever. Uh, <laughs> what's another one? With you, with you, that was my shit. But you guys, I hate to break it to you, as far as today, Chris Brown of today, it's not, it's not giving R&B. It's not. Face it, fuckers. No, but seriously. Um, yeah, it's just, it's not giving R&B now. It's not. Like, um, what's a good one? You know, like on his royalty album, right? In the song, Make Love. That song is R&B. You heard the burn, 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 burn. Like the guitar or the bass strings, whatever the fuck you want to call it, that's an R&B song. Just look it up, cause I can't play the shit on YouTube. Um, what's another one? I, I I'll even give it to Liquor. Liquor was a good ass song. There's something you on you, you on is you. And when he hit that, that shit was sexy. Fuck. Anyway, like I said, I'm not here to bash him. Just like keeping it real with y'all. And like I said, I still listen to most of his music. Um, cause some songs is just like it's a no for me, especially when he get on there with fucking Tiger ass. Like I don't, I don't fucking care. I don't want to fucking hear it. Thank you. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? Just like the song. Now this was definitely R&B. Um, what is it called? Again? Do better with Brandy. Come on, be rock up. Bow, bow, bow. Wow. Okay, shout out to five of your fucking boring and shit. Um, Heartbreak on a Full Moon. The actual song called Heartbreak on a Fucking Full Moon. That is an R&B-esque song. Um, what's another one? Oh, wow, 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 Um, I guess I could say Sip. That's sort of like an R&B-esque, but it's still like an up-tempo um, type of song. Okay, let's go to Indigo. Um, Overtime. That's a nice song. That's, that gives R&B with a little bit of like country pop. I'm going old time. Well, I forgot the fucking words, but yeah. Um, back to love. Now see, 
that's not really R&B. That's like a pop. And you know, you watch the video. It's definitely giving Michael Jackson. Now I love when Chris Brown um, does a Michael Jackson tribute, honey. I was rooting for him to hopefully had performed that at the Grammys, but I guess they said hell no, and we see why. Cause you always gotta act the ass, Chris. God damn it. But yeah, um, I still wish they would have let him perform at the what was that the AMAs? But for whatever reason, because that would have been a bomb ass Michael Jackson tribute live. I love Michael Jackson. I've been a fan since I was a kid. <laughs> I was listening to You've Been Hit By, You've Been Struck By, A Smooth Criminal. But needless to say, y'all, you have to stop being delusional at some point. Like, for real. Um, Maybe if Chris Brown takes the actual time to go back to some of his older roots and like specific songs like the ones I named like Make Love, Sleep at Night, um, With You, Hell No Air featuring, um, well, with Jordan Sparks. Like everybody loved the fuck out of that song. Do you let me live alone? That's me. I'm in the room. I jumped the flu. I died to get float to you. And then gravity. For real, baby. How many hours was they breathe with no air? Live can't breathe with no air. Feel whenever you ain't there. No, no air. But yeah, you guys. R&B, like I said, is not dead. It's underappreciated. But seriously, look up Lucky Day and you will see the difference, okay? Because that's just like putting Coily Ray in like female R&B. You're not. She's not fucking R&B. Hold up. Um, but I'm in the one about, like she's a TikTok rapper. Sorry. Hold up. I don't wanna have a good time. I don't wanna have a good night. Hold up. But I'm not being a hater. I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. But she's just because she's singing a little tune. That does not make her the next Brandy. The next Beyonce for sure. I want to be tonight. How she doing on stage? A little sweat. Never hurt no one. Oh, 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 oh. Getting now snap for the kid, snap for the kid, snap for the kid. Now cool off with it, now cool off. Now do the scissor leg, touch your heel, touch your toe, do the scissor leg, touch your heel, touch your toe, do the scissor leg. Huh. Now they'll be camera, walk down the camera, walk, walk across the room, but now I'm a camera. Memory, y'all. Memory, B day. Burn, 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 burn. burn. Then she said, hey, hey. Yo, chick, chick, yo, that was Swiss Beats, right? I ain't worried to me tonight. A little sweat ain't never hurt nobody. And she was like in the video. They was like, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It's me. Don't you ring the alarm. I'll be doing the wrong. I'll be damned if I see another chick on your arm. She gon' turn everything I own and let you go. How do you look at me and I see all the things? Baby, come over. Come and move. Ooh, I should not be singing that one for sure. That's Renaissance. That's definitely gonna fuck around and get cap, copy, cap, cap, copycat. But y'all, needless to say, y'all need to broaden y'all horizons and really take the time to listen to male artists specifically since we're in that um, category. Cause I think Lucky Day was nominated in that category as well. And just like really tell the difference. Because like I say, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people kiss Chris Brown's ass simply because of him being Chris Brown. Not even just his people, his, his team and people around him, but you fucking crazed ass fans. Y'all need to chill and accept the fucking truth. He is not a full-blown, a full-time R&B artist. He's just fucking not. Get over it. And like I say, broaden y'all horizons and really listen to artists who really put out R&B music. 
it goes under wraps and underappreciated because like I said, y'all are too busy listening to artists like Chris Brown and want to say shit like he's talking about who the fuck is Rob Glass, bro? I said uh, who the fuck is Because if somebody was to say who is Chris Brown, they would be shot twice in the head. I'm just saying. That's how crazy y'all are over this man. Get it together. But the point of this matter is, y'all, write down horizons and really check out some real R&B artists, male or female. I'm going to give y'all my top five for, whoa, what the fuck? I'll say top three. Okay, so for the guys, Lucky Day, uh, Ro James, I just, you know, I just named him early in the video. Uh, I would, I would say Luke. But I'm gonna go with Eric Bellinger. He 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 puts out good ass music as well. He switches it up. He doesn't just make like these pop, pop it up, pop it up, pop it up, pop it up, uh, you know, type of songs, up tempo, typical hi hat type of shit. He puts out R&B music as well. I would have put him in that category. Um, who else? Ro Timmy, A.K.A. Dre from Proud Power. Yeah. Jacob Lattimore. Jago Lattimore, yes. Yes, he puts out great music. Great, great music. I like them all, I, I like them all, hey. Um, what else, y'all? Um, top three female R&B artists oh, of all time. Well, from like an older generation, but still relevant to this day, Brandy, B. Rocka, Norwood. Don't ever forget it, don't ever get it twisted. Um, SZA, whether y'all whether y'all like it or not, she puts out some good ass music. I love SOS. This is the seventh week. It's been number. One. Why is she gonna make it to ten, y'all? Shout out to all my SZA fans out there. Put a blue heart emoji in the comment section right the fuck now, y'all. Um, let me get a, let me give y'all a good one. Top three. Who do I listen to like that? Um. Cause I've been definitely playing SOS for a minute, y'all. So um, I'm gonna go with Money Long, Money Fucking Long, um, to be in more updates in current times. So that's definitely those two, SZA and Money Long, and then the first one is Brandy, of course, cause she's number one. But you guys, I want y'all, I want to hear you all's opinion on this uh, situation with Chris Brown's tantrum because he did not win Best R&B Album. Because it wasn't an R&B album. You had an album with a few R&B songs on it. Don't mix the two up, sir. Get it together and actually make a fucking R&B album. Okay? Well, yeah, you guys, I want to hear your thoughts. Um, and who are some of your favorite R&B artists, male or female? Let me know in the comment section. And uh, if you guys would look forward to more um, videos like this, we can all talk and have a good old time. My hair will be done, don't worry. But also don't judge. Um, yeah, so just stay tuned for more videos like this. We can have some talk videos. You guys can give me some topics to talk about. Nothing too serious, nothing too political because I don't fuck with politics as a whole any fucking way. So um, yeah, make sure you guys give this video a like. Comment your thoughts. As I said, what do you guys think about Chris Brown's latest temper tantrum? in the music industry. Let me know in the comment section below. And make sure you all subscribe, share this video with your friends, um, people who are big on music, because I am definitely a music fan. I love music, I have to have it. I don't know what I would do without it, okay? And uh, once again, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your Monday. I know I will. You wanna know why? Cause bitch, I'm off. It's Taylor Rain, and I'm out. You guys have a great day.